Prime Minister Masala. I've received word that Model 4649 will soon be complete. Dot, 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 dot. So, the time has finally come. Begin the project. Yes, sir! Circuit J. Until it awakens completely. I think we'll just wait and see what Model 4649 is capable of. <laughs> Tinker! I finally finished it! Really, Doctor? This is the new model Gijin, model 4649. He's so cute! He looks just like a human child! All that remains is to have him experience and learn. As much as possible. So as to activate the seven heart circuits. And... Awaken Circuit J. Now, Tinker, I'm counting on you to do your job as an interface robot. And clearly convey my orders to this child. Yes, Doctor. I'll make sure he gets your orders orders exactly as you say them. By the way, Doctor, what is Circuit J? <laughs> Curious about Circuit J, eh? Well, Allow me to explain. Circuit J is... Geppetto! You're under arrest! W what? What are you doing? I hereby arrest you on the charge of high treason. W what? There must be some kind of mistake. Tinker! I'll be back! I promise! Model 4649 Please take care of Model 4649 for me! Doctor! 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 No! Bring him back! 
though. I don't think making an infinity sign will help bring him back. I don't know what to do by myself! Dr. Geppetto! Hey guys, Blamager here, and let's play Wonder Project J, Mechanical Boy Pino. And the game I'll actually start it after this little credit sequence here, which shows us some pictures that kind of give you some backstory on things, but honestly just looking at these pictures I don't really understand them too well. I mean, it's clear that it's trying to give a backstory on, on things, just with a few pictures. Uh, you'll understand it better after you've played the game and know the story. But it is what it is. That boy there, that's Pino. He's a robot. Created by Dr. Geppetto. And that's a dog that he likes to kick around, and then the dog bites him. This is a different kind of game. It's not a game for everybody, that's for sure. But I do believe that this is a game that, when let's played, can be entertaining for everybody. Or at least most people. As far as playing it goes, I love it. It's basically like a very advanced form of Tamagotchi. But anyways, let's press start, shall we? Okay, let's begin. Oh, we've already started a game there. So I guess I will start file number two. Yes, that is correct. Please tell me your name. Now, <laughs> funny enough, canonically, the player's name is actually player. But... I don't care about canon. Cannons are for balls. I will be known as Joshua. Name is Joshua? Yes, it is. Hey? You there! Joshua! Yes, you! In front of the screen! Are you going to help me? Hooray! Hooray! Joshua, how can I ever thank you enough? Please take good care of us. Act 1, the birth of Model 4649. So he has yet to be activated at this point. Good morning, Joshua. From this day forward, we're going to be partners. Oh, I almost forgot. Model 4649 doesn't have a name yet. Please think up a good name for him. Now, much like Frank Matic, I'm kind of leaning towards naming him something like Jerk or Douche, but we'll stick with Pino. Settled on Pino. Yes, I have. Pino? That's a great name. You should be happy, Pino. Joshua is going to watch over and guide you. Okay, Joshua, I'm going to activate Pino now. Pod computer, release model 4649. Wake up, Pino. Hey, Joshua. Okay then, Joshua. 
I'll now explain Model 4649's, uh, I mean, Pino's control system. You listen to my explanation, right? Sure. Thanks! Alright, then let's move to the secret room. Okay, Joshua, here we go. Pino and I are connected by an invisible pulse that directly transmits my instructions. In other words, Pino will act according to the way you manipulate me. Sounds sexy. First, an important note. Pino runs on health and energy. If either reaches zero, he'll break down, so be careful, okay? Alright, let's move on to practice. First, we'll practice moving Pino around. Move me in the direction you want Pino to move and press the A button. Pino will walk in that direction. If you press the A button again, he'll run. Alright. Of course, as you might assume, running uses up more health than simply walking. In fact, I think you can walk without consuming any health. There you go! Ready to move on? Yes. Next, we'll practice telling Pino to stop. It's mean to let Pino keep running into walls all the time. Try pressing the B button while Pino is moving. Moving and stopping are important basic skills, so make sure you practice them well. Simple enough. There you go, ready to move on? Sure. Next, we'll practice moving items around. I'm the one that will actually pick up and move objects. See that ball on the floor? Try moving me so my wand is touching the ball. Then hold down the B button and move me around. If you let go of the B button, I'll let go of the item. Okay, this is a little bit wonky, just because she kind of moves around a lot. Joshua, my wand isn't touching an item. Yes, it was. It's clearly touching it. It's, it's, it's highlighted. There we go. So yeah, picking up items is a little bit wonky. But you get used to it. There you go. Ready to move on? You bet. Next, we'll practice moving items in and out of our inventory. Just like you did before. Pick up an item from the screen and then move it to the window at the bottom. When you let go of the B button, the item will enter the inventory window. To get it back out, grab it the same way with the B button. Please put back the ball. Okay. Simple enough. There you go. Ready to move on? You bet. Speaking of items, Pino will act on items of his own accord. When he does, you'll see the lights at the top of the screen light up. That means one or more of Pino's parameters has changed. The red lamp represents a change to his combat parameters. The yellow one represents athletic parameters. The blue one indicates mental parameters. And the green one represents sensitivity parameters. Okay then, let's practice guiding Pino to items. Try moving me so that my wand touches the ball and press the A button. I'll point at it and Pino will come over and do something with it. Alright, so this is the basic premise on how we play the game here. Humph! <laughs> well, that's not correct, but yeah, let's, let's move on. We'll figure it out eventually. Just like he did now, Pino will act on items of his own accord. Of course, he won't necessarily always get it right. He sure didn't that time. So you have to praise and scold him in order for him to learn. Let's practice praising him first. Try pressing the X button. I'll praise Pino. Hehehe, <laughs> I did good, eh? There you go. If you praise him right after he does something, Pino will learn that he took the correct action. Understood? Yes. Okay, next let's practice scolding and punishing. When Pino does something you don't want him to do, or when you want to change an action you had him master, you have to scold him. Try pressing the Y button, I'll scold Pino. If you press the Y button again, I'll hit him to punish him. Humph! <laughs> don't try and tell me what I can't do. 
Now, it's it's quite humorous to actually hit him and punish him, but uh, it's actually not very practical to actually do that at any time during the game. It also lowers his mood to scold him, so that's something to be aware of. Oh well, that can't be helped at the moment. Anyways, if you scold Pino right after he's done something, I learned that he shouldn't do that, understand? Yes. Finally, I'll explain about the status screen. Every time Pino does something, his parameters will change. Some go up, some go down, so it's so hard to keep track of. So it's a good idea to check his status on a regular basis. Pressing the select button will bring up the status screen. Press it again for the next screen. To exit, just press the B button. So this is our parameter screen. You see under aggression, we've got attack and defense. Under athleticism, we have arm power, balance, and leg power. Under intelligence, we have reasoning, imagination, and feel, or yeah, reasoning and imagination. And under sensitivity, we have feeling, expression, and kindness. And you're also going to notice that there are a bunch of categories in green, confidence, honesty, diligence, charisma, trust, and luck. These aren't tied to one of those four main groups, but they do have their own stats and they do affect different things. So they are what they are. There you go, ready to move on? You bet. That's it for practice lessons, but would you like to go over it again? Hell no. Once was enough. Okay then. That's it for practice. Good job. And now we're on Act 2. Help number 46. However, I think we will do this in the next episode. This has been Let's Play Wonder Project J. I am Blamager, and I will see you guys later.